Hello, hello friends, today I am going to introduce some of the basic features of OpenOffice presentation software. The software is used for creating slides, presentation slides. It is just like a PowerPoint presentation and we can create it from this is our OpenOffice 4 and uh, I am just going to create a simple template using simple pre uh, presentation using this template so I'll go and click on this option we have got two templates here this is introducing a new product and this is recommendation of a strategy suppose I just want to use this will use this template uh, I'll go and open the click on open and see we have got a slide groups of slides here these are all slides we can customize it as per our requirement uh, these are the layouts various layouts suppose you don't need the title you just need two columns you can select this one here you have got this option you can insert a chart or a table or a picture or a movie movie clip here for example, I just want to insert a table here. I will select the table and this is you can specify the columns and rows required. Okay, this is our table. We can present uh, data here and we can customize the color also color of the table of each and every cell. And this is our another column we have here box here we can add anything of our choice either graph insert a graph you can insert a graph here like this so this is uh, you can create a presentation as per your requirement and we can go on to the next slide this also we can customize it as per our choice here we have got two rows and we can add a movie here or a picture suppose and I will add a picture here suppose I need I want to add this picture and this is our next slide we can add as per our requirement we can describe about a thing about the product and we have got many features here apart from this we have got tools various tools here to browse the gallery media player you can play any media and insert any scene of any media minimize the presentation slide slow you can set the rehearsal timings here this is your time your time is going and you can keep it for the moment you want to keep here on the screen and after 10 seconds or 12th when you can click it here and the next presentation will come here and again you can keep it for the moment you want on the screen and then you can click here to for the next presentation next slide to come here and so this is your time rehearsal you can specify you can record the timing for each and every sl slide to be on the screen and that will be recorded and saved and accordingly it will be played during a final presentation so this is your uh, rehearsal timing and there are animations also custom animations you want to put a an animation give an animation effect to any of the text or any of the picture or any of the portion of the slide you can select the portion and you can add any type of effect you want to add there are various effects entrance effects emphasis exit effect motion path you can select any of the effect you want so there are various things there are custom animations also you can specify you can 
give a custom animation to your slide, to your text, to your pictures, and you can hide any of the slide you want. And this is custom slide slow. You can customize your slide slow to bring it first, second. You want to suppose you want to keep this one, this slide in front. You can select it, and you can select, you can remove it. So you can present it in your, you can arrange it in your order of your choice. And apart from this. If you see, there are various other options also, cut, copy, paste, paste special, delete points, loop points, view, in the view menu you have got slides, sorter, slide slow, outline, master, slide master, note master, insert, in the insert menu you have got insert slide, suppose you want to make a duplicate side of this particular slide, you can just insert duplicate slide and the same slide will be repeated, presented again for you to customize. There are various date and time, page numbers, you can specify, specify page numbers, date and time, fields, formatting marks, you can insert a picture from file or scan, scanners, you can insert a table, movie and sound, charts. The insert menu has got various things, various options for inserting. Here you can insert an animated image. If you have got any animation, you can insert it. The animation will play. Format in the format menu, you have got various options for formatting the design, slide design, slide layout, text or area. Change the case upper lower toggle case. You can format the page also. Page loop, bullets and number, you can give a bullet of your choice, select a bullet of your choice. There are various options here. You can select any of the options you like as per your requirement. In the tools menu, we have got a spelling check, which can check the spelling, language, gallery, color repression, media player, minimize the projection option, macros. You can record a macro and run it for your work in the slide slow menu we have got different options this is this option is for your slide slow you can see your slides you can how it will look and you have got other options for slide slow settings you can set the settings of your slide your presentation and here you have re rehearse timings. You can rehearse the timing, set the timings for each and every slide to play. You have custom animation, slide transitions, how the slide will transit during while playing. See, you have got various options here. You can use any of the options you like. And in the window menu, you have got new window, close window. You can click for a new window if you want. And in the help option, you have got various support and help about software, about different things. You can seek the help from this place. Thank you. That's all.